eviction letter. <laughs> Apparently that's what they thought of that. Obviously, um, homemade. Tenants behaving badly. They were toking at his eyes. <laughs> they were like orbs. Get their marching orders from Prue. On your way, go. And cause Judy to get the knives out and fung array. This is proof of them spotting on the stove. The knives. Black knives. While in Wellington... Everything in here, from what I can see, is rubbish. Jared uncovers a conspiracy of squalor. Oh, that's why he's put that down there, to cover up the stains on the carpet. Prue Morrell and Anna Miles from Good Girls Property Management have some business to attend to at the 16-room Christchurch boarding house. This is a building with a colourful past. It had a jacuzzi in a very special room. And this is the cupboard where we found a man living. <laughs> when I picked it up, it was in dire need of care and attention. Anywhere with a colourful past is bound to attract colourful characters. And one of them is Warren. <laughs> we'll find out. I'm a lovely person. A long-term boarder who pays his rent on time and expects high standards of property management in return. So I think I texted you and asked you uh, for the uh, oh, you did the Wi-Fi, the wifi code because someone's it taken the. It was on. It was, it was on there. Oh, sorry. And it's gone. It someone's was stuck taken here. it. Not again. One of Warren's housemates is moving out today, and Prue and Anna are here to do a final inspection on his room. Did you finish the room? Yep. You have? Everything's out? Yep. OK, brilliant. I'll go and fill up. It's pretty good. He's done a good job. He's vacuumed and there's nothing hideous in the corners. All good. Wouldn't Thank you for leaving the room in such a good state. To Prue and Anna's delight, the room can be relit right away. Righty-o. All good. Things are all running smoothly at these historic lodgings, but life is never boring in a boarding house for long. And Whangarei, Northland property manager Judy Morgan has just taken on a problem property that is in urgent need of attention. We're going to this property in Carmo, which has been abandoned. My understanding is that the tenant has been imprisoned and he left his partner with all these kids there, so she had to go. The former occupants have now left the property and Judy needs to get the house in section in pristine condition so it can be re-tenanted as quickly as possible. Oh, God. OK, let's go. <laughs> but instead of doing a bunk, it looks as if someone's been bunking down, even though Judy made sure the house was secure. These tenants have been back in here cos when we were up here last week, I made a point of locking all the windows and drawing the curtains. I don't know how they've got on. It's absolutely appalling. And there's more drama by the kitchen sink. This is just absolutely disgraceful. Look at this, it's just filth. Oh my God, the state of those drawers. Look at the stove. Look at it, they've been spotting on it. You can tell by the, the elements and the ash underneath, look. This is proof of them spotting on the stove. The knives. Black knives. Years in property management have made Judy an expert at sniffing out telltale signs that point to use. Little heathens. But no one can accuse Judy of inhaling. The smell's not pleasant. I don't know how best to describe the smell, but it's not nice. But look at it, look what they've left behind. Flies everywhere, no lights. I didn't know what clean was. They recycle clothes by the looks so of it, they just pick the cleanest ones up off the floor. The residents may have moved on to next season's range of fashions, but their hand-me-downs aren't to Judy's taste. <sighs> More clothes. <laughs> what can I say? They might be running around naked for all I know. And neither is their interior decoration. Mould. Now this looks like a mixture of mould and filth, I'm not sure. There's a couple of holes here. Another hole behind the door there. More holes. Another hole in the wall here. Cool, there's no hole behind that door. That's a plus. 
Judy's in desperate need of fresh air, but is someone warning her to stay indoors? OK, let's see what joy awaits us. Uh-oh, a knife. Two years ago, Good Girls Property Management took over the running of the 16-room boarding house in Christchurch. When I picked it up, it was in dire need of care and attention. Some residents are long-term, but with minimum 28-day tenancies on the rooms, many come and go. Thank you for leaving the room in such a good state. But recently, there's been so much coming and going from one room that Prue wants two tenants gone for good. And they're just disturbing the peace of others, amount which is sufficient for us under the Act, under the Boarding House Act. Prue's issued them with an immediate eviction notice, and just in case things get dramatic, lets the police know what's about to go down. It's their little yucky friends that they've been giving out the door code to, and which is a, a serious breach of security for everybody in the house, because um, some of our people there are nearly 80. Way we go! <laughs> Complaints from the other residents include smoking inside and treating the building like a 24-hour crash pad for dealers. I just want to get rid of them out of our lives. Prudence Morell, good girls. Sorry, the room's a mess. Right, you're going to have to pack up and go. We're done. We're finished here. I can smell the. Got incense up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at your eyes. I could do my makeup in there. On your way. Out. Oh, that's weird too. Get out. Go. No, door's being rekeyed. You make an appointment and we'll let you in. The tenants leave in a huff. Right, yeah. <laughs> Leaving Prue and Anna to do a quick inspection on the room, which has a long way to go before it's ready for new tenants. Mm. Skid marks on the mattress. The room is furnished with the latest in pigsty chic, including some less than healthy looking incense burners. It's obviously um, homemade. Don't think this has been purchased in such a fashion. Oh, look. Inspiration. The now former tenants will need to arrange a time with Prue to empty the room within the next few days, if they can be stuffed. Oh, that's the eviction letter. <laughs> Apparently that's what they thought of that. Failing that, all non-perishable goods will be bagged up and put on the street, and all perishable food items dumped. Although sorting out which is which may be a challenge. Mmm, delightful. Jared Buck from Trust Property Management is about to prove that the only thing worse than being told to clean your room... So we're off to a property where the room's in a bit of a state. ..is having to clean someone else's. We're meeting Luke over there to get the place cleaned up so we can turn it around and get it re-tenanted. At this room-by-room -room property in Wellington, a tenant has moved out, leaving a mess behind. Let's go have a look. The cleaning cost will come out of the tenant's bond, but the boys have their work cut out for them. Yes, we'll need to clean up the door as well. Yep. The smell's bad. Um, we'll open up the curtain, open up the window and start bagging everything up. Everything in here, from what I can see, is rubbish. There's a lot to clear out, but the first thing to go is the former renter's rancid reek. Hopefully we can get rid of some of the smell. It's not the, the most pleasant environment to be working in. Oh, that's why he's put that down there, to cover up the stains on the carpet. Stains on the carpet and what looks like the remains of a miniature ticker tape parade. And that's not the only surprise. Oh, listen to this. I did knock but got no answer. Anywho, I was going to say, if you're going to buy any bud this week, buy off me tonight. All good if you haven't been paid this week. You could just slip it under the door when you do. That's if you're keen to buy some. <laughs> On that note, the boys deal with a different kind of green and brown and yellow, a veritable rainbow of rubbish. 
Reckon this is a guy's or a girl's? No guy I know would wear it. While Luke works through the detritus, Jared documents some of the more interesting elements left behind. I don't know what these are from, but they weren't here when he moved into the room. How the hell do you make this sort of mess on your door? Inside and out. There's food marks, coffee marks. He's just spilt stuff and hasn't even bothered to, to wipe anything down. As far as interior design goes, the tenant seems more freak than chic and the boys have a bit to do to get things organised. But believe it or not... It's certainly not the worst. Especially this is just a small room. If this was a large flat and everything was like this, yeah, uh, it wouldn't be good to see. Oh, seven bags in one box. That's a little bit less than what I thought we were gonna, gonna end up with. With a little bit of suction and furious rubbing, Jared has led to the obvious conclusion. Oh, this guy had no idea of cleaning. This wasn't even an, an attempt. He had put a few things in a few rubbish bags, which is why I don't think there'll be any issue when uh, it comes to deducting all of this out of his bond. And with a few final flourishes... Not the nicest of jobs that we have to do, but at least in a couple of hours we've got it turned around looking good for new tenants and the owners will be happy. In Whangarei, Judy Morgan has taken over management of an abandoned property that desperately needs to be re-tenanted, but it's far from ready to go back on the market. And if the inside is any indication, the outside probably won't be much better. Uh-oh, a nice... They haven't used that one for spotting. Maybe it was left as protection from whatever's hiding in the jungle outside. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, God. There's an old dog kennel there. They haven't done anything with that. Barbecue. Look at the clothesline. It's totally munted. That's probably from kids playing on it. It probably won't be the laundry that's been done because the laundry's on the floor. Look at all this. They've been burning rubbish. I asked them to stop doing that, but they continued. The gate's broken. The fence has been damaged. Yes, yeah, so all in all, the place is um, <laughs> not in a good state, I'm afraid. It just remains to check out the garage. Or is it the armoury? That looks like a, um, some sort of gun case. It's a bit absurd sitting right next to the Holy Bible. A gun. Judy needs a miracle. And here's one she prepared earlier. The skip's just arrived. I hope it's big enough. <laughs> Along with two guardian angels in the form of Blair and Brett from Whangarei Lock and Joinery Services, here to help with the dirty work. OK, I'll come and I'll show you. So we just get rid of everything? It's not worth getting in as a um, second-hand dealer, and I do not believe hospice or Salvation Army or anybody like that would take any of this. <laughs> Blair and Brett aren't just here to chuck everything into the skip. They'll also repair the holes in the walls, fix the windows and change the locks. Can you guys fix yep. that? Yep. You haven't seen the outside yet. It looks like an almost insurmountable task, but there's no time for despair. Not only is progress being made, the mystery of Whangarei's missing construction barriers has been solved along the way. The whole bottom of the house is full of them. But it's amazing what has been hidden. If you have a look around here, there's a couple of holes here. This part here was actually stuffed with a pair of jeans that I pulled out. It seems like a case of one foot forward, another hole kicked through a wall. But with the house expunged of most non-fixed items, Judy is starting to see an end in sight. I mean, without all this rubbish around, it, I mean, it's a pretty solid-looking house. Although, <laughs> having said that, it can't be too solid with the holes in the walls, but that's a, that's a mean punch. That's a real mean punch, that one. And now it's Judy's turn to punch out, but she'll be back tomorrow to finish the job. Get out. Go. Prue and Anna from Good Girls Property Management 
have issued an immediate eviction order under the Boarding House Act after a couple renting a room in the 16-room boarding house gave out the door code to all their mates. Early hours in the morning, stomp, 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 you know, up and down, noise, and the smell of uh, that stuff, whatever they were smoking. They were toking in the room, going, ooh, and his eyes, they were like orbs. Lovely. We're off. The former tenants have agreed to meet Prue and Anna two days later to clear out their room before it gets bagged up and left on the street outside. She did say she wanted to clean the room and she would like all her bond back. Of course. Long-term resident Warren has been keeping a close watch on the room since the good girls changed the locks. Well, I thought someone was in that room because I was keep hearing things, but it might have been just the one. More like an ill wind. Oh, oh let that air out for a moment. <laughs> oh, that ain't good in there, smell of vision. Prue and Anna smelt it. Oh, this is bad, is it? But there's no sign of the tenants that dealt it. It's Prue calling you from Good Girls. I just been stuck in an appointment. Well, you knew it was at 3 p.m. and we are now here. And, you know, we certainly do need to uh, dump this stuff because it stinks. You're not getting the bond back. There won't be any bond because we're going to have to fumigate the room. Commercially clean the carpet and dump the bed because it stinks. It stinks. Right. That's lovely. There we are. It looks like the tenants won't be making it in time, even though they had requested the time themselves. That smell is beyond. I've got to put so I've got to put someone in there and get it scrubbed. We're just going to have to dump everything that's not personal. I've got no choice. Luckily, Warren's keen to help. But everything oh, perishable, grounds. that'll be bread. Yep. Yep. We've just done that. Cheerios, yep. all yep. of oh, it. And that Warren? All in the bin. Which leads to the recovery of some personal items of his own. My sandpaper's up there. The nutty professor? Yep, that's mine. And the discovery of some other items. Oh. I think we might need the police. After a quick break with the boys in blue... It's not synthetic, so it's a bleed. It's back to clean up. And after a couple of hours hard graft and all suspicious items handed to police, the room is emptied and ready for decontamination. Good. There's still no sign of the former tenants, although Prue has an idea of what their next accommodation might be left them one toilet roll. You know, always need that when you're freedom camping. <laughs> and Whangarei, Judy Morgan is returning to a property that's been giving her major headaches. I was left in a, in a horrible, horrible mess and we're now going back to see what the property is like now. We've actually re-tenanted it. Hopefully we can get the tenant in there next week. Getting the property back on the rental market is a priority for its out-of-pocket owner and the sound of a lawnmower is music to Judy's ears. We'll go in, but it's looking so much better so far. The entire house has had the full service treatment and in some cases is literally as good as new. So this whole bathroom is new. New lino, all the wall linings are new, new shower, new heat lamp shower curtain and vanity, all new. Likewise with this toilet, <laughs> that toilet um, was just revolting. <laughs> so this is all new. But what's a new toilet without a brand new kitchen to go with it? Look at that brand, that's $900 worth of stove. If the next lot of tenants damage that, look out. This plug was absolutely munted, broken. It's been patched there. There was a big hole there. And also there was one here behind the door here, and that's been, been patched. <laughs> you would not have believed this room when I first saw it. It was black. A lot of it was probably mould, but a lot of it was full. The 
clothesline when I first came was absolutely munted. It was, there was stuff hanging on it and it was literally so much on a lean, it, there's no way you could repair it. So that clothesline is new. There were mattresses, all sorts of things around here. Gosh, what a huge, what a huge difference. So much better. The house is looking ready to be lived in again. All that's missing now are its new occupants. It's all pretty good to go. Just a little bit of, you know, final clean, floors mopped, etc. And, and that's it, and we'll be, we're ready to put the tenants in next week.